um, now there's this big thing that's fueling the the fringe feminist outrage, and it, and this is a a story about uh, misogyny being part of our culture. So I know TJ will love this one. Thousands of women have used Twitter to express their solidarity in response to Rogers' hate-filled rants. Other women, like the Washington Post and Hornaday, claims Rogers' sexist rants are part of a culture that breeds violence against women. Hornaday pointing specifically to bad boy comedies like Seth Rogen's Neighbors. Yeah, I think that um, Seth Rogen's Neighbors is probably a you know, big part of the reason Seth, Seth Rogen's, why this I mass think it's shooting happened. Responsible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There was a guy on Twitter. I was actually I actually took to Twitter to complain about the yes all women tag because I was like, how can you presume to speak for all women? And the the you know, I got a lot I mean, obviously predictably I got a lot of like very negative responses from feminists. Usually shit like, Aren't you the guy shoved a banana in your ass? Find it <laughs> But um Yeah, they're at home. There was the a tags. there was Strong one men. There was one tweet by a guy, I forget his fucking name, I think it was like Dave, David Fink or some bullshit. Uh, he tweeted at me like, yeah, it must be hard to be discriminated against for your gender or something. Like, really sarcastic. And fucking Will Wheaton, fucking Will Wesley Wheaton. Crusher from Star Trek, uh, reblogged his, uh, his, his, his little thing on, on Tumblr and shit. And it became super popular. Uh, like this, this you know, like oh, we showed the amazing atheist now, and that same fuck, when Seth Rogen responded to this accusation by saying, you know, it's ridiculous that they think because I get girls in movies that this caused a mass shooting. That same guy was like, Seth Rogen said, said you know, uses the term getting girls, does not realizing that's part of the problem. I'm oh like, okay, God. but but blaming movies for mass shootings isn't part of the problem. You're a fucking retard. <laughs> uh, anyway, because, that was just kind of an aside. Because it creates a fantasy in the uh, in, in the mind of the audience. Like they're getting chicks. If I'm not, I need to go on a shooting rampage. Anyone who reads the manifesto of Elliot Roger would realize pretty quickly that this was not someone who was being influenced by mainstream fucking thought. This is a, an, a human being with extremely deviant, aberrant thought. Uh, he said he was the closest living thing to a god. Yes. What, what, so why isn't that information being parroted in the media? Uh, why is, you know what I mean? Know, like, I don't know. Why, I mean, like, look, why I mean, the like, drummed up melodrama about him being a you know a misogynist on top of all of this other craziness he was a he I mean he was a misogynist he was clearly sure. a misogynist. Oh, sure. he was extremely misogynistic and that might have been part of what motivated him but it it's not like this was inculcated in him by our fucking culture i find that notion to be patently fucking absurd This inside of me, and you will see it. Dude, we missed the air. Rogan, the actor, is not happy. He tweeted, How dare you imply that me getting girls in movies caused a lunatic to go on a rampage? Listen to what the Washington Post Hornaday writes about Hollywood culture. She writes, quote, How many students watch outsized frat boy fantasies like neighbors and feel as Roger did, unjustly shut out of college life that should be full of sex and fun and pleasure? How many men raised on a steady diet of Judge Apatow comedies? Not, it's Judd Apatow, Judd, not Judge not Apatow. Judge <laughs> Apatow. I am the law. <laughs> I don't expect you to, do, to know anything about the fucking story you're conducting an interview for. Just read the paper. But uh, the problem with this is, like, once again, if you actually read his manifesto, like, these feelings were not brought about by him watching movies. I mean, to some extent, maybe. But, like, really, it was seeing his peers be successful with girls that really drove him insane and, with jealousy. And obviously, he was an awkward fuck. And, and he had some serious narcissistic issues that turned girls off. You don't have to be the most handsome man on earth to, to get a girl to like you. Yeah. You know, yeah, but there wouldn't be ugly people at this point if that was a prerequisite. Because I mean, like, you have to fuck in order to your genes to propagate. Like every single person alive today, someone had to fuck to create them. 
Doesn't this read like some Fox News shit too? It's like all they always ask a question, but then it strongly implies what they want. But it's like, how many men? Isn't this affecting them like this? Like, like they're always presupposing, but, they're, but they, they frame it like it's a question. Like, but we're not really certain about this. But we're pretty sure it's this culture. But the onslaught of sexual conquests on shows like Sex in the City, that's okay. That's totally fine. That's cool. There's no problem there. That's not problematic at all. It's only problematic when men do it. Yeah, it's a clear double standard. No. You're wrong, Scotty. You're, wrong. You're, you're sexist for even saying that, you misogynistic, sexist, <laughs> woman-hating and, piece and, of garbage. And racist and evil. You're garbage, and Scotty. Despotic and uh, autocratic. And every, <laughs> you fucking every, garbage! Every ad hominem you could throw at me. <laughs> All at once. I just want to ask you a question, Scotty. What's that? Why do you hate women? What's wrong with you? Because I'm evil. Oh, okay. Which the schlubby, arrested adolescent always gets the girl, find those happy endings, constantly elude them, and conclude it's not fair. You know, uh, I, I, I think I know why guys desire, like, sex and girls and stuff. It has nothing to do with sex being the driving factor behind human procreation. It's everything to do with movies making them think they want sex. I figured it out, guys. You got it. You nailed it. <laughs> what is it, the Ig Nobel Prize? Is that, is, that what, is that what you need to win? <laughs> is what she writes a fair argument, Mark? Oh, it's a very fair argument. But I, and, I, and I understand Seth Rogen's concern that somehow he's being uniquely targeted. But it's not about Seth's movies in particular. It's about a broader culture that sees women as prizes, as possessions, and oh. as things to which really? men... Okay, I, I, I normally agree with what this guy says when he's on TV. Yeah, but this is, that's before he realized that this is what he has to say or he will be castrated by the feminist horde. ...are entitled as opposed to human beings. It's a culture where women walk down the street and are subjected to street harassment all the time. It's a world where women have to say, I have a boyfriend, because if you just say, hey, I'm not interested, that's not enough. Men will accept that you're another man's possession, but won't accept women's right to, to have their own interests and desires. It's a and broader world, men, some part of the rape culture. I would agree with it. We encourage... If you point out that not all men are like that, feminists will literally mock you and be like, so you're saying that's not... They, they literally, they've turned not all men into like that, that's a, fine. an aspersion. Because it shows they have no real argument. That's fine. I mean, they, they, can, they can attack me personally. That's fine. Because that, that really just shows how weak their position is. Not all men. Yeah. The objectification and Obviously violence it's not all men. Then, then now this guy was... We wouldn't even have a fucking society if all men were just going out raping and beating and harassing women. How, like, that, that would just mean every time a man saw a woman, it would just be like... We're, we're, we're like fucking lions where we see if a, a female would just like go crazy and start fighting and like you're my possession now like a fucking like so, a gorilla uh, you know i mean like literally <laughs> the, which is which isn't even accurate but like just to say like you know like what are we really primitive animals where we just see like that female that mine now when i see tits i'm just like Rawr! i just grab them what are you pointing at ben I think Paul was going to say something. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. oh, it, it's, uh, I was just going to say, like, this whole, I'm not up to date on the whole Twitter feud, and maybe some of the people in the chat aren't. There's, there's a, a, a tag, yes, all men. It's yes, a, all women. Yes, all women. Okay, so the idea is all women have to deal with massage, misogyny. Even, and then what, did, did the men create not all men? No, the, fe the feminists also created Not All Men because they say that whenever they point out these criticisms, the immediate reaction is not all men are like that, which I would think would be a fair point. Of course. I mean, like... Generalizations no, are always No, all wrong. men are like this, apparently. But it, it, it's only when an accusation is made against men is it inappropriate for them to try to inject a little, like, subtlety and nuance and try to not be stereotyped. Got it. No, oh. you're, then you're just sexist. Like, if you said, like, black people are violent, they'd be like, well, no, not all black people are violent. In fact, not even, not even most black people are violent. And people would be like, oh, yeah, you're right. That's a good, fair way to look at it. But if you say, like, not all men are rapists, people, feminists are like, why dare you misogyny? Well, if we turn around on them and use the same logic, if a woman commits a crime, like, a woman, you know, robbed a bank. All women will rob banks at some point in their lives. Well, you know, I, when I was um, working in an office when I was about 18 years old, there was a female coworker there that, like, literally every day would harass me sexually. Like, she would come up and, like, 
rub her like tits against my back and like stick her hands down my pants and <laughs> make like very forward advance. And I would repeatedly yeah. be like, look, no, please yeah. stop this. I'm not interested. I don't know why you're doing that. And she would just day after day do this shit. Well, TJ, for even complaining about that, you are obviously a faggot. That's what that, that was the reaction. <laughs> that was people, the people at the office were like, I think TJ is gay because, you know, that hot chick keeps trying to hit on him. And when I point that out to feminists, they're like, well, just j one instance of harassment for men doesn't negate the fact that it always happens to all women at all times. Yeah, what a joke. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't even believe... I, I, I'm sorry. I can't even believe some of the... You know, I, I try and... I, I do have a Tumblr, and, and I follow you, and so you're kind of my link to the whole burgeoning feminism thing. And uh -huh. it, I find it really, really hard to believe that some people hold these positions and, the and crazy... actually yeah go ahead no no you go ahead no it's okay go ahead i was, I well, was the, wrapping the, it up the crazy and infuriating thing to me is that i see all these extremist positions presented under the guise of feminism and then when you criticize feminism all of a sudden they say oh no all feminism is is gender equality that's all we want so if you're against that, you're against gender equality. It's like, that would be fine if that really was all you wanted, but when you actually study the rhetoric, that doesn't, it doesn't no. jive with that statement. The problem is, is right. that, you know, it, during the, the days of women's suffrage, that was real feminism, and now we have neo-feminism, which is this extreme feminism taking it to the point to where all men are pigs, all men are basically rapists. You know, yeah. it's it, it's it's far beyond what it was when it was a noble movement. Or if if you're not a rapist, you at least support rape culture, unless you surrender completely and wholeheartedly to TJ. feminism. But we're 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 not getting anywhere on the story. We you're gotta... a potential rapist, though. You're forgetting <laughs> that. So every single human being on this planet is no, a potential rapist. No, only men. I yes. suspect that in the perfect world, he still would be violent. But, but there's something crazy making about misogyny as well, and I think it only contributed to his mental health issues. You know, Kelly, I think that this is a, this is a great conversation to have, but, but, but it's a dangerous line we're walking because I frankly yes. don't believe all men view women as simply objects. Not all men! There's definitely a problem, right? Especially at universities with sexual assault. But um, but by having this conversation, some men might think we're condemning all of them, and they're. The well, if you actually look on Twitter, a fair number of women are condemning all men, and also there's a, a hashtag that was also popular on Twitter even before this happened that was "kill all men," and when I criticized that, a male feminist told me that that tag was just women venting because they're powerless in society. The majority of men are good people. That that is right, and I think you saw that. You saw that online. I mean, I've had conversations these even women in my just, own uh, household where in the you know, men who respect for saying this. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, they they what, they've been brainwashed by the patriarchy. What feminists say when women say stuff like this is uh, that they have internalized misogyny. Ah, uh, of course. Because they're more. I can't believe that they're more concerned with how men are perceived than they are with the female victims of sexual abuse. Women say, whoa, wait a second, not all men are like that, and that is true. But I think what I was struck by, especially as a mom of two girls, those tweets where moms and parents say, you know, I tell my girls to watch their drinks at bars, but do we tell men don't put drugs in women's drinks, right? I tell my girls be I think that Who the fuck needs to be told It's that? pretty fucking strongly understood that you're not supposed to drug girls and rape them. Like, there's really not much in our culture that's like, yeah, roofing girls and raping them is cool. Yeah, I, I can't imagine meeting anyone, at least in America, I mean, maybe some more primitive countries that would honestly think, you know what, just go to a bar, roofie someone, and it's totally fine. You know, it's okay. It's okay to take advantage of other people in that way. Like, I mean, who, if you really need to be told that, there's already a problem to begin with, like, don't kill other people. Don't like take other people's shit. If you really need this like spelled out for you, there's there's kind of an issue with you at that point. Also, I mean, like, it's pretty much been established at this point that there are many, many male victims of female rape. So why should the consent issue just be approached as women need to be wary of men? You know, like, if we're going to have a discussion about what constitutes consent, then shouldn't it be 
a round table discussion where everyone it, it, we, not even like a don't rape discussion but just a discussion of what consent sexual consent is and and how you follow those guidelines in your life but of course if you even try to have any sort of conversation like that in our education system the conservatives fucking rally against it and say no we just need to teach celibacy yeah abstinence which is completely unnatural careful so that you're not assaulted on campus but do we tell enough of our men to not sexually assault women. Do we talk about consent? I mean, there's one school, Yale University, they talked about consent. Never should heard of be it. Yes or no. It should be an enthusiastic yes, right? <laughs> so how much are we having, you know, how, I think we need to